one firm for life. Come. <laughs> My Kramer Law Firm, whether you're dealing with family law, uh, they work really, really uh, well with cooperative divorce. Yeah. So uh, they're, they they want to make it as easy as possible I mean, for it, you. It, you it know, doesn't like have to be a, a, a fight with process. But, hey, if you need somebody to fight for you, they can definitely do that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but they're working more towards making it better for both parties, yeah. which is better for you. Uh, also, any accidents you get into, I mean, they do everything. That's Personal why, injury they do. The, um, or or yeah. even something as simple as like family law. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Well, that's not simple. I said as simple as family law. Uh, totally not simple. We need to get our trust done. I know we talked to Steve about doing that. Uh, and they do trust. They do wills. Um, anything that pertains to law, yep. it, it, you know, my Kramer law firm does. And uh, I know they've helped me out with uh, multiple things. And Kramer's got a really, really good team over at yeah, my Kramer law firm. You actually get to hear some of his team. I think we have Ray Trindley in uh, next week. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, so one OneFirmForLife.com. It's the Kramer Law Firm. Give him a call. Tell him Tom and Dan sent you. With us in studio, he's going to be at the Improv. Yes, two sir. shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. This is the first time we've had this gentleman yeah, in. Stoked. And uh, we've had uh, a whole interview before we've even started. Yeah, <laughs> well, that was kind of nice, right? He yeah, came yeah. in, he kind of sat on the couch. We uh, had to send Butler on a coffee run. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, luckily, he stocked. didn't do what he did last time when he had to go to Publix. He had to, last time he had to go to Publix was for Dame, no, Sean, Sean Waynes. Sean. No, Marlon Waynes. Marlon. Marlon, Marlon Waynes. Right. He There's had to, a lot of them. He what did Marlon want? Marlon <laughs> wanted um, roasted chicken. Of course So did. what did Butler bring back? Mm. You'll love this. Mm. He brought because you get two sides turkey. with yeah. the chicken. He, he mm. brought back uh, rotisserie chicken, but he got thanks, bro. A well, bunch it, of greens. It was collard, uh, greens. collard greens, and then something else, and then oh, <laughs> well, and then I'm oh like, Marlon went in, didn't he? Oh, yeah. and I'm like, that's really? why you don't send white people to get <laughs> more. <laughs> I'm like, really? Greens? You brought greens? <laughs> you brought them greens? <laughs> awesome. That's not going to be called out at all. So then Marlon starts calling him racist. <laughs> and, that's uh, the best it was thing ever. Awesome. But did he eat the greens? He did, but he said he they're white people. Greens. Yeah. <laughs> he complained about it. He complained about it. He spilled them. And he's like, these are shitty greens. These are terrible. These are white people greens. That's a Hilarious! With us in studio, David A. Arnold is here. Woo-hoo. How What's you doing, up, David? Man? What's dude? You guys? I, as soon as I walked in, I was like, "This place looks like success." <laughs> Thank uh, you. Like it just looks like y'all like did something with your lives. Well, we're trying. We, we now, there's no way it's, out now. Yeah, yeah. We I know. Families and children, and <laughs> uh, it, it just goes to show you we we have to do it now. Th- now this could be all a facade, <laughs> and this could be our mom's <laughs> house. <and laughs> <laughs> Up here, yeah. the, the, you know, rich yeah. mom. She's like, you could do your radio thing. But that's what happened before in our old studio. And Tom was telling you a little bit right, about right, it b- right, before right. before uh, we started. My mom would come down. She was watching the baby helping me out. And she would be on, you know, the, the, the second floor yeah. where, like, the kitchen and everything is. And then the bottom floor was our entire studio. And my mom would come down with in her, just a, you know, Garfield nightshirt with her titties out. <laughs> nice. And, and, oh, and they're long titties. That's, yeah. Your and, mom's nice oh, long man. She's a wonderful woman, and they're long, long. And it was, you know, we'd be doing a show, and you'd just see her walk yeah. by, titties are swinging, just this- holding, holding the baby. I'm like, Mom, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Uh, David, here, we're doing an interview. <laughs> But this is great, man. It's so dope. It's like well, appreciate it. It really Thank is. You. And you guys have had a bunch of my friends in here. Oh and man, Rodney's been good to us. Oh, really? wait a minute. Hold on, Rodney, Rodney Perry. Rodney Perry is yeah, my yeah. boy. He's a good guy, man. He's such a good. Yeah, me and Rodney have been friends for a long. We did a. We did a stand. We Rodney yeah, you guys and did I a, a, an album. We right? produced a stand up special together called Light Skin Dark Skin, like in two thousand five. That's awesome. And like one hundred percent had no idea what we were doing. We just knew we wanted to do something together. And it's so funny how you do something so long ago and like now on because of my social media push that I've had in the last year, so many people have bought that album. And it's great to like get mileage out of some material that I did yep. 15 years ago. And people are listening and watching it. I, I was going to ask you, speaking of social media, yeah. like I've uh, read uh, some interviews with you. Like when you started like your real social media push, you get, like garnered a a ton of followers oh, yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. And like was, now, now yeah. you got 143,000 on, uh, on Instagram. Yeah, and like 440,000 on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, that is yeah. impressive. That's very especially impressive. nowadays when it, uh, everybody has, like, there's so much to follow. It's hard to really blow up like that. How, right. how did you do it? Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't 
no. Okay. I like like it's one of those things where I I did a video um I did a video called that we did um me and my wife I had us do it. It was like how parents feel when their kids go back to school mm-hmm. on the first day back to school. Yeah, yeah. And we laid it out to the Wiz. This the soundtrack from a song from the Wiz, Can You Find a Brand New Day. Uh uh-huh. And it I put it up at eight o'clock in the morning in, in Los Angeles and by noon it was on the local news. That's huge. Like, by noon, it was on the news. So a friend of mine, I, you know, Sherry Shepard, who's a friend of oh, mine, yeah. stand-up comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sherry's cousin is the producer of the L.A. that that afternoon. She was like, you got to see this. Send it to him. He was like, oh, this is fantastic. And I guess when a big market like fire. L.A. picks it up, 30 other markets picked it up. And then it went viral. And then people started going and looking at all my other posts. And then I did a post about why do, why do I buy why do I waste my money on these kids' toys? And I went through this, and that got picked up. And that was is what made my page go international because my page, my Facebook page, has been translated in a bunch of different languages now. Wow! So like it's <laughs> and I I didn't know it was that's all, awesome. My agent called me and was like, "Did you know twenty two million people a week are going through your Facebook page?" My God! Man. And I I and literally I had no idea. Because only thing I'm doing is what you guys are, we're creating content. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, that's yeah. all, all I'm doing is looking for a way to be funny. You know what I mean? And so, like, I've never looked at that side of it. And the next thing you know, I just looked up and I went to bed one night and I woke up the next day and it was 70,000, then 20,000, I mean, 20 more thousand. And then, you know, it just kept building. And, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was kind of dope to watch. Yeah, uh, th- th- of course. And, like, did you feel pressure then to start, like, mm-hmm. because, like, uh oh, like, this is a thing. I yeah. need to continue this. And yes. then, do were you always trying to, like, chase that one video? Like what do they want? Like because that's a weird thing. Because sometimes you like what it, do they want? Exactly. What have I got to produce? Things go viral sometimes randomly, like the right perfect time, place, like the people yes. watching, and then like a lot of times you try to like mimic that and do, and then uh, like w- wait a minute, this didn't do as well as this. Why? And then you're trying to figure it out. And like, I learned sense. very early that it doesn't. You there's no there's no rhyme or reason to it. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Like I things that I have thought would be great. Great. Nothing. <laughs> and things that I thought were some bullshit. Yeah. Fi- like I did a video in the grocery store today with my wife, and I was like, "This is why men hate going to the grocery store with women, right?" And I just put up all this random shit, and it was just, it was just whatever to me. I cut it up, I showed it to yeah, my yeah. wife. It was just I, like, yeah, just I put like, it it's up fine, there. right? Yeah, yeah. Fifty million. <laughs> oh my god! Fifty, million. Yeah. 30, 40, 50, 50,000 people yeah. have re- have shared that video. What's crazy is that people don't understand. Like CSI Miami, no. this whole season, uh-huh. if you put together. Won't get that many. No, like, you know what I'm saying. Like national TV shows will never get that. Like no, more sir. people it's watch crazy. that video than happen. any media in the United States. <laughs> like you know, and then you're uh-uh. like, wow, like oh, holy shit, this is a lot. But then and then you were killing the- two birds with one stone. You're making a video and getting your food for the week. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know what I mean, like that's a big yeah. deal. I'm killing. And the, yeah. the Grouse was very excited when they saw it because <laughs> they saw it. I was like, that's us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's unbelievable, dude. I am. A huge believer in this social media. That's why when I walked in here and I saw this, I was like, "Oh, this is this is self made. These are these are some hustlers. These are the guys oh, who got their to. shit together." Well, 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 it drives you crazy though, too. Yeah, it, because you got to keep the ball in the air. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a machine that has to be fed. It'll yeah. kill you, right? I, mean, yes. I feel like it is killing me, but and, I mean, we'll get there. And there's no one knows really how this is like how it all even works. Like people are right. figuring it out. But like, like, like people have these huge social media followings yeah. and then can't monetize it or figure out right. what to do with it. Now, of course, it's good for entertainers and people like yourselves yes. because you're selling tickets. You're a, unbelievable. You're how I'm br- selling tickets now. I cannot believe. Yeah, it. you're a brand, so yes. uh, it helps your brand and it helps everything about your business. But some people have these like huge followings and don't know what to do with it. They have and, no idea, and uh, and that's interesting to me because it's a crazy world we live in when you can self. Distribute content to millions of people, oh, not and, only not, that. and don't even monetize. Well, it. not only that, but David can now see where to go. Yes, you know, like that's, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. who who do I need to go preach my stand up to? Like what? Okay, let me look at this map and where are the this most is where my following. That's what my agents. Yeah, my agents yeah. started doing that. They literally started looking at the places that I and this is not one of this area is not one of them. Okay, and like, but I said I wanted to come here because I wanted to be able to have these kind of so I can 
touch the places that I haven't organically touched already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So, like, I was like, let's go to Orlando. Like, let's go. Because I told her, I said, for every two or three places that we go where I'm, you know, where it's the following's there, let's go to places where it's not. You know yeah. what I mean? To so, build it. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. build it. Good you know call. what I mean? Yeah. And, and as a comedian, I love... I love, I mean, I, when I tell you there's nothing I love more than being on that stage and working, yeah, of yeah. all the, of the television produ- the producing that I do, of the acting, of there's nothing better than the stand-up. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And the social media is the closest thing to it because it's, it's very engaging. Mm-hmm. I can put something up. And I can literally see people respond to it immediately, instantly. Yeah, yeah. And I love that. Like that's 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 the that's the part for me that's dope. So I do it. Well, speaking of that, because you do a lot of writing too. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, and you've written for a lot of super successful shows. Yes. And Fuller House. And yes. And uh, and you know I, I've read about you and you've talked about like yeah there, I want to be in front of the camera more yeah. than behind it. But um, right. you're a really good writer. So yeah. uh, you know that. Uh, how much do you like doing the writing part? Um, the I mean. Here's the deal. I didn't, you never, I feel like you always run into stuff that you never plan to do. Like, sure. I came out, I wanted to be a comedian. I think everybody who becomes a comedian, you want to be a comedian, you want to get a TV show, you want to come up huge. Like, everybody has that thought. And yeah. you never think about things that could go. Somebody asked me to write for Tyler Perry for uh, a TV show he had on called Meet the Browns and House of Pain. Yeah. And, um, I had written a bunch of short films, and a friend of mine took over his stu- his studio and ran his TV shows at the time. And he was like, "You want to? You want to?" And I was like, "How much?" And he was like, "I'll give you this to write the script." And I was like, "Yeah, I write it." Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then and then they called me and were like, "We want you to write forty of these." And I said. For the same amount of money, right? And he was like, yeah. I said, fuck it. I, and I, yeah. and then, <laughs> the next thing you know, you're writing and you're doing something that you didn't expect to do. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> then you realize how they all work together. Because now when I'm producing and now when I'm creating other stuff for myself, I know how to create things because I know what the people on that side of the camera expect. Yeah. And it's You it's, know the it's equation now, right? Yeah. I know the equation. I know yeah, how yeah. to I know how to work in every part of it. And that's yeah. the part that's been dope. So I like it. I mean, you know, it's different than being a stand up, but I, I don't mind, you know, yeah, yeah, working yeah. on good shit. Well uh, Tyler Perry, like yeah. uh, he's um, built this empire yes. that uh is it's it's really amazing. Like yeah. I, I don't know how much he's worth, but uh, billions. It, it's it, it's it, to it's the point nuts. where there's an insane. This is a machine at this point. He owns all yes. of Atlanta now, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, or Georgia. Hey, like that's his. He state has a now. highway. You know, yeah. he has a, he has a freeway <laughs> really? on his. Like when I worked for Tyler Perry, which was ten years ago, and I worked there during the one short period of time when he when his writers were union. Like, okay. literally, because, like, of all the time he's been around, there's been non-union writers, and he had this whole big blow-up in the last couple of weeks about talking about, you know, he writes everything. And, and there was a period that I was literally there only for that time. And he was at a different lot. He was at a different place than where he is now. Yeah. But even then, when I was there, Hollywood... He 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 made a space for himself, but Hollywood wasn't really openly embracing him. Like it was, it was begrudgingly that they did it because he was making so uh, much money and he was yeah, yeah. drawing so much that they were like, "Yeah, Tyler Perry." But now, you know, Will Smith, everybody's at Tyler Perry yeah. Studio shooting. Like, cause, yeah. cause he didn't he really a, take him seriously. I think at they first. did yeah. not take him seriously, even when he was making the money. One of the things I learned from him, and I, I don't like. I, I'm always very vocal about. I'm not. I don't like the way that the writers have been treated and have been portrayed by him from his studio. And I've said this to him. Yeah, I, yeah. I think, but. I respect his work ethic. I've never seen nobody work like this. I've never seen nobody work like that dude. And it's, this is one man's, one man's mind. And like, when I tell you his, I'm working at Paramount right now. I'm doing another show for Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah. I just started. Oh, nice. And literally, I'm on Paramount lot. Tyler Perry Studios that's in Atlanta, the new one, is bigger than Paramount. Really? Yes. Woo. Is it, it, it's, it's 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 ridiculous. That, that's insane, David. Do you think it's because uh, we were kind of talking even before we started this interview mm-hmm. about um, like the Joe Rogans of the world, the yeah. Tyler Perry's, the guys that self made like, started just producing uh, their own, like just becoming their own thing, becoming their own media. Tyler Perry did it before, uh, yes. like everybody was doing it. Yes, and then I feel like all the big production companies and the uh, studios right. and stuff were looking at these people like, oh yeah, it's kind of like when we started a podcast, like ah. Oh, 
how you do your own bit. Like, uh, exactly. Dude, he's he has dude. his little game. He's doing, yes. his, little he's doing his little yeah, recordings. Yeah, yeah. Him over there. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the, playing movies. And then all, <laughs> he's dressing like the granny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do the granny movies. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And the same thing with the Rogan. Like, the oh, billion he's doing, dollar he's doing his podcast. He's doing his thing. And, yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, it seems like the paradigm shifted. <laughs> and then uh, society is like, oh, yeah, these guys are uh, are just as relevant yeah. and just as big as the big production companies. That's right. And now we got it. Like, uh, all of the audiences looks at Tyler Perry exactly looks like they look at Paramount and any other people that 100%. Are, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, the playing field got even and then uh, it changed, it, it, right? It, it may That's not, 100% it, it. It may not even be even because if you think about it, you know, the way that Tyler Perry or even to use the example of like Joe Rogan is delivering the message, he's using the new tech. That's he's right. He's using the social medias yeah. and he's using the, the podcast yeah. and the Apple podcast and Google podcast. Yeah. So, Less so overhead, it, too. It, yeah. Exactly. Well, that's, 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 that's yeah. what's crazy. Like, they can, Tyler can make TV shows for, you know, a, ha- a fraction of what normal people will make them. Now, yeah. there's some argument to be made about the quality of it. You know what I'm saying? But when you're a business person and you're, you know, people are buying it off the shelves. It don't matter. Like, some people can be like, yeah, but the quality. And he's going, yeah, but the quality. You say the quality, but, you know, I, I sold 60 million of these in one day. How many <laughs> did you sell? Yeah, yeah. Right. And so you can't right, argue right. with and that. And I produced it for a third of the cost as this thing. So business-wise, right. yeah, I mean, it, I'm making more than the than the big production company. It's there. 100% we're in that space. And by the way, I'm here because I've been on here for a minute. I haven't even said why I'm here. I'm Because I'm in Orlando and I'm doing the Orlando what? Improv. Yes. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, here. Right. I, I think. I should probably hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll just go but we'll just go yeah. theimprovorlando.com that's the easiest way to get your tickets yeah. yes or uh, davidarnold.com you boom. can go to either one and yeah, you yeah. can get tickets I'm two shows tonight two tomorrow last night we had a great show Take um, it. it's fantastic and and what's been dope and like we were talking about the social media what's been dope is to watch the ticket sales literally triple in this the last nice. year because I and I'm like by, by no means near where I'm going where yeah, I'm yeah. going to be, you know what I mean? Like, mm. but just to feel the impact so quickly, it's like, oh, like my wife, like we get spot, we're sponsored by Jack in the Box now. Oh, oh nice. really? How'd you yeah. get that? That's they, awesome. My Instagram, they saw my, they saw my, they saw one of my videos, and they and they literally reached out to me and were like, you know what? We love what you do. We would love for you. They, I just got it. last year. I they picked me up like. As needed, if you will, like, yeah, hey, yeah. you did, do this video. We want to. We're doing. We're advertising this. Yeah, because come they, up what you can come up with. Now the big co- corporations are uh, see are, the value. Are, are signing on influencers, and you're a big influencer. I now. just yeah, got yeah. signed this year. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. year, last year, I got it like like job by job. Right. This year, they sent me a contract. That's and awesome. they like bu- and they bought me out for the year. I can't do any other fast food. And they sent me this yeah. big jack in the box with the guy's head on it, like a welcome package. <laughs> That's I awesome, man. And I've never seen anything like that. And right. I, I haven't opened it because I want to do it on social media. So when I get home, I'm going to do it for my fans. That's so make awesome. it and I was like, and my, my agents call me. Yeah, it's and my wife and kids, you know, we do videos and put stuff together for them. So it's because you are your own content provider yeah. that's bigger than most even radio stations and even bigger yes. markets. And yes. like they are realizing that and they're like, why am I going to spend money with a radio station in, let's say, yeah. uh, like uh, Atlanta? Like, it's, exactly. it's a big market. But, but David's radio but David, station's in his pocket. Yeah, he's on it's it right in my phone right now. Exactly. He carries it with him 24 hours. He'll yeah. reach as much or more listeners or viewers or whatever and more engaged and I could probably pay him less than the big corporate Corporations because they want to, you know, I'll I'll pay them directly and he'll th- like it, it, this is how people are. Uh, That's how people it, get it's out changing now. the business now. Yeah. And it's um and I'm, yeah. I'm 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 a huge believer in it. A friend of mine, King Batch, took my stand up class. I teach the largest stand up comedy class in the country. Yes, yeah, yeah I was and about. it was so funny because the end of uh, the art of stand up comedy. Yes, right? that's right. Yeah, Look, yeah, you guys you are really yeah. yeah. It's well, un- I, I, I was reading so much I almost signed up for it. I, was like, <laughs> I can't even go to. I can't even get there. <laughs> well, we do it online. Yeah. You can also. Okay, what's like, crazy about doing it online? Line is that like I have so many people London I have people all over the world That's that take awesome. the class and it's because I you know I all my lectures and everything are already online and then people will That's so smart upload man. and I, I all of this stuff happened and, and I didn't realize it was just me just constantly just doing shit and it's turned it I started I started ten years ago. Now, like in Los Angeles, I have I, well over 378 people, is what my assistant said. Damn. That we have waiting on the waiting list, which I can never. So, like when I announce a new class, I only do 20 hits. 
35 minutes it sold out. Wow. Online, I only do 10 That's people awesome, at a time. It, it, like the moment one person is gone, another person is waiting. It's just, and now I'm doing them in the cities I go to. So like I'll do a one day seminar with the comedy community, oh, all the wow. local comedians. I did it in Atlanta when I was there like three weeks ago. We sold that out immediately. My Look assistant. At you, man, the educator. D- dude, and do you, you like can't, it? do you like it? I love stand up. Yeah. I can't teach you to be funny, right. but I can yeah, yeah. show you the roadmap of the things that you need to do in order to build your craft. And that's the biggest difference. Yeah, you know what you, I'm saying? You were saying King Batch, you know, I mean, yeah, King Batch came and took my class. We don't know. Right. Yeah. yeah he right. came and took my class and he was very smart about, you know, the way he went about doing it because he knew he had this huge following. He knew people wanted to offer him thousands of dollars to do stand up, but he knew he wasn't a stand up yeah, and he yeah. didn't want to ruin. He was one of the smart few yeah, people that's smart. That's smart. smart guy. He was one of the few people that were very smart about it. And so he went out and he hosted for Joe Coy. For a while. Yeah. So he went and I told him, I said, don't take the big money because they're going to offer it to you. I said, if you really want to do this, go host. Go out there and be personable for 10 minutes and then bring up the comedians. That's a different muscle. You know what I mean? Yeah, being yeah. A so, and that's the thing for me. Like I always tell, like a lot of these people, that, even my people that are watching now, some of these people have never seen me do stand up, but they know me from the videos with my wife and my kids. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, sure. and so they go. And I, it's so funny. I was talking to somebody. Uh, I, I was like, I've done two stand-up specials. I have a Netflix special coming out in six weeks, right? Congrats. And man. thank you very awesome. much. And people have, people, I've been doing it 22 years. In 18 months, I have people who want to come see me do stand-up because I posted a video about complaining about where are all my spoons in my house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. like, you know what I mean? And like somebody said, oh my God, this guy's so funny. I can't find my spoons either. I got to see you do stand-up. And I'm like, I've done so much stand-up, but that they don't give a shit about that. <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah. care about the spoon oh, yeah. land. Mm. He's the first ever, ba- he's like backwards. We've had so many comedians in here. Exactly. You're like That's what backwards I was about to engineering say. or retrofitting yourself in into social media. Yeah. Well done. That's man. what I was about to well That's exactly done. what I was leading up to because a lot of people become social media personalities and stars and then they go, oh, I'm going to give the stand up thing a try. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and they haven't and developed. It's brutal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because it, it's you, brutal. You know, it takes so long to do, develop that skill yes. to uh, to develop, uh, you know, your act, to get comfortable, Just to reps. figure it out. And reps. Yes. It, you, yes. You can't fake reps. You, know? you cannot fake reps. I have so many friends of mine mine who you know i'm 50 so i'm not wow. uh, you know what i mean i'm not you know man, i'm not gotta, this is not new i gotta live better <laughs> you're a vampire <laughs> christ man. you bill bellamy God, I'm seeing you know what? i mean there's a phrase for it and i think it's accurate <laughs> well, black don't yeah. crack well white does and you can look at it right here uh-huh. my god let me tell you something little old man i tell people all the time i'm not a social media guy that's uh, learning to do stand up. I'm a stand up comedian. And I'm learning this social yeah, media thing. Yeah, yeah. And when Smart. I saw how how much it works, I said, if this is the game, fuck it. I can take anything and make it funny for sixty seconds. Yeah, yeah and well, that's exactly what I started doing. Because yeah, you're yeah. naturally funny. And, yeah, I'm really funny. And, but you, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? I'm a comedian, yeah. of course. Right. And you learn the craft of stand up. So right. then, when people, when your social media followers come see you, they're seeing a well crafted, uh, a professional show. Which, uh, which, and then not, you got him for life. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you got him with the video. That was the hook. Right. You got him in. You have put in the the hard work and the know how. The Before. elbow grease. Yeah. Yes. So you give them the, the, the big show, you give them an hour, which are like, yeah. holy shit. And then when you're done, you got them for life because you it's authentic. Because And you know, because so, my favorite is to have people come and say, I was very nervous because, you know, social media people, they're funny on in the phone, but they're not funny, you know. On the stage. Yeah, we've, heard, we've had a lot of uh, uh, veteran comedians lot of veteran. They complain, complain about, it. about the social media yeah. guys that come and then they'll sell out a weekend. They won't even do media. They'll sell it out just That's from the social right. media. And then they'll get up there. They got five minutes, but they're... they're Trying yeah. to fill forty five, and then they're doing crowd Some work. Weird <laughs> crowd work, but weird. Not good crowd work. Not good crowd work. It's like, hey, look at that guy. He's drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? You know, it's like, oh shit, this and, is gonna and, be bad. So, you bad. know what? You know what I thought about. I, I, I'm sure you've thought about this. Have you ever thought about teaching veteran veteran comedians the you can't social? Teach me- them well, old people nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to hear shit. But, but they, they, don't, they don't. They don't. But you've learned the social media that they. A lot of those guys are struggling. 
feeling because yeah. you know, and like, you, you know embrace what? it. You're not really negative to it. No. You're like, no, no, no. I'm just going to learn. Listen, this is how my mind. Like I said, I broke it down when I saw all of these people and I saw these comedians selling out. I went to one of them uh, came to do a show in Los Angeles and they sold the show out in like an hour, and I had to go see. You know, and I went and watched, and the stand-up was exactly what I thought it would be, which is, you know, mediocre to not great. Mm. And it, Beginner. Yes, yeah, beginner. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Beginner content performance with rock star uh, draw. Yeah, yeah. sold yeah. out crowd. Yes, yeah, yeah, sold yeah. out. Very oh exciting. It's, it's, it's a bizarre time, that's, by that's the way. That's like my it's sex life right thing. now, by the way, huh? with my wife. No, that's the sex life. It's like rock yeah. star rock draw. Rock star yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. content. Ah. Yeah. Got a lot of <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in a time the only way to get that was by doing stand up for 15, 20 years. And becoming years. great. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they recorded it. And so, like, when I, but when I looked at it, I first was for a few years, I was like, this is ridiculous, these guys. And then all of a sudden, I realized I don't want to be the veteran guy complaining about the old, the young guys. Mm-hmm. And they don't. And I said, okay, if this is the new game. And we're going up 60 yeah. seconds at a time, and we're making, then let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just started literally just posting and talking, which I honestly, I don't mind doing. I love yeah, doing yeah, yeah. it. You're doing live. it anyway, probably. I'm doing <laughs> it anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so it's just started working, you and can it moved see it. mountains. Like you did a video. He, he Obviously, he's here in town, Orlando, theimprobeorlando.com. Get your tickets. Yep. But you yes. Did, you did a bit about having yes. a twin bed in his hotel room. Yes. But the, your, your delivery and the way it was like kind of edited and chopped up, it looks so comfortable to you. I'm like, oh, yeah. You look like, I mean, this is funny. You look exactly like what you're doing. You look like a veteran comedian who right. really has a ton of reps that is actually now learning and using social media correctly. He does his, like, if you watch his flow, it's like, shit, you're stole their flow. Well, not stolen, yes. but you know, yeah, yeah. You, no, know I, you know the equation again. I know how to, yeah, I know how to it, get it in. But he's way funnier and more confident. He's mm-hmm. got that. And I know how to also give you information yeah. without knowing that I'm giving, like, I, what I learned is every city that I go in, I post a video, and now it's I. Every, the last, I post a video because I always got a problem with the hotel rooms. It's always like it's. I'm just a complainer, so yeah. like I, <laughs> I can take anything and find something to do. I I got to do a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can do a minute on anything. Yeah. So a, a lot of people. I will sell tickets because people will. I'll, I open up every video with. So I'm in Orlando, Florida, performing at the Improv, Boom. and I found out that they don't have soap. And now I'm into a joke, but I gave you the information because then people go, "Oh wait, you're in Orlando," right. yeah, yeah, and then I, yeah. all these people. Yesterday, fifty people came up to me after the show and was like, "If you hadn't have posted that video, I wouldn't have known that you were here." Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm learning yeah, yeah. Yeah. to do this. You're yeah, doing your it. own media promotion, essentially, yes. in, in a day. Age where the only like a comedian comes to town, they do the morning news, yes. they do morning wacky morning radio, exactly. and they do all that again. And and we've talked to a lot of uh, stand ups that come through here and talk about how they so, some of them even backed off on doing even like uh, morning TV and stuff like that just yeah. because they're like, I don't know if I'm even doing anything. I'm going sitting there, um, like the corny ass, uh, like studio well, old, old man, or yeah, yeah yes. they're, they're like, yeah. sell, t- sell, tell us about what to expect. <laughs> At uh, well, a comedy Tom, show, Tom Segura like, told us he backed off of it. Brad Williams said he backed off of it. Yeah, uh, Adele Gibbons said she backed. I'm like, people you don't need it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Linnell said she backed. Well, because she I love Linnell. We, we Linnell love, reposts she, all of my stuff. She, she has like She's I don't know so what great. it is about her, but our listeners love her so much that they will they'll slide. She says slide into my DMs, and then slide they and then they DMs. do, and then she has full blown conversations that our listeners will then send to us about how like, she must just be riding in a car somewhere talking to our listeners. <laughs> that's what she you do. so yeah. down to earth and cool to us, man. She's so... And that's and she what smokes I us out I when that? she's here, too. That's I, another she, thing. What? She, she smokes, smokes us, us out. out bad. Linnell <laughs> is the best. Like a wild one. Linnell will call... When I post something, Linnell will call me personally. She has to call me personally to give me her feedback <laughs> on what I just posted. And then she'll tell me everything I just did. And then Julie said. And then you said. <laughs> I was like, you, you know I just did the video. <laughs> I know what I did. I know what I did, <laughs> Linnell. This is I love up. her so much. We've been yeah. friends for so long, man. It's oh, incredible. We got listeners in our chat room right now saying she slid into my DMs. Love her. We chatted <laughs> about weed gummies. <laughs> we, that's the yeah. well. That's Listen, what she I want y'all to slide into my DMs too. Yeah, I'm yeah, at yeah. the David A. Arnold. If you wanna, if you wanna hit me, it's Messages. at the David A. Arnold and David A. Arnold on Facebook.
Facebook or Instagram. If you guys want to, I'm going to be at the Improv. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. You can go to DavidAarnold.com and you can get your tickets and get a chance to see you know what everybody's talking about. Hey, which it's, is it's Valentine's Day. Come uh, perfect yeah, yeah. date night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it is. A, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a, and, and you know it's so funny because a lot of my Life stuff is, is about family relationships. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. which it's always been. Yeah. A, even before I was married and had kids, my 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 thing was always relationships and family. That was yeah, yeah. always the thing that just I always because I feel like that area we're more alike than we are different we all come from families we all have parents sure. we all have kids or we've been kids so like those are the things that I lean into my entire career and so those that, I think that's one of the reasons why the stuff that I does translates to everybody yeah, and yeah. it's dope and you're a dad, I'm, I'm, we're, yeah. we're I, am a dad. dad. Yes. I got a four year old he's got a four oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got two boys yeah, yeah. two boys yeah. I got two girls yeah, 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 yeah. I got one girl oh yeah, yeah. yeah. see oh yeah. you Guys are in for it. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's already getting a little <laughs> spicy. Speaking of parenting, and I want to ask you because your your girls are older yeah, now, twelve and fourteen, 12, and Grace and Ashley, and, and and they are in a world of this social yes. media in and everybody. Yeah. And I how, worry about how do that. you handle that as a dad? Because you like you you know social media, and I'm yes. sure like now they have a father that's famous well, on he's social not media. Oblivious to it too, so yes. he's in the world but, exactly. But there's a which lot matters, of matters, I think. So it does. Do, do your daughters have a different mindset when it comes to social media because they grew up in it wh- rather than you do as far as like knowing about the trolls and the negativity and stuff? Do they, mm, like, do they don't know. They not. The short answer is no, not yet. OK, but the but the other side of it is I'm very diligent in staying on top of their because because they have uh, like you said, they now have Instagram accounts. People follow me and follow will just naturally follow my wife, follow yeah, them. Sure. So suggested, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I will go through my daughter's page and I will go and go. I randomly go, give me your phone, and I just literally go through everything in their social media and delete, block, like Ooh, literally. I I'm, like this. Like I stay on top of. And, and does it mean that I'm going to get everything? No, ah. but I'm. You're but active. I'm aware. Yeah. I'm yeah. aware that it yeah. exists. Yeah. You know, what I mean? and I tell them constant like. My wife now, Julie, is starting to deal with fans that like comment uh, on everything and say stuff, and she'll screenshot. Well, she's really funny. I mean, she, like, you guys are a funny family. Yeah, she like. is. She is. And my wife is so not the dynamic you guys have is fantastic. I appreciate dude. it. Dude. It's, it's funny. so real because it's just us. Julie is like getting to the point where like this person is creeping me out. I said you got to learn how to not respond. Some people you know you got to yeah, not respond right. to, yeah, yeah. or you just got to not like you got to learn how to navigate that. Space. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, my girls, they, they're, they're still like they. They're getting used to the fact that all their friends follow me at school. No, yeah, 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 so yeah. like that's the thing. Like they're like, oh, "Your dad's so funny." They're like, "No, he's not." Right? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so they're like they're getting used to that. But we're very much aware of what it is, the beast that it can be. So you know, I I stay on I stay on top of it, and I watch my wife because Julie is you know everybody loves my wife by like she's more pop when i perform and i go on stage and i start one of my jokes i go you know so my wife people will yell when i was in dc last week i said yeah my wife's something the whole place screamed out where's julie because they know <laughs> yeah. you they know yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. through social media it's yeah. un that's a new t-shirt just it's a new shirt where's, yeah. where's yeah. julie <laughs> and like i said okay let's just get it out the way now about julie and the place went into a roar that's for like awesome. 20 seconds and people i'm like people like to feel connected yeah yeah. Exactly. So when you're on Instagram yeah, yeah. and you're talking about your family, they, they feel like un- they know you. It'll bring it's, people it's, out. It's a, me and, me, me and uh, Joe Coy were talking about this. I was talking about this with a friend of mine. His name is Chris Spencer, who's a very funny comedian. And I was telling these guys the difference between your celebrity is because people know you from television and film. They know me from social media. The Social media, they feel like they know you. Know yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when I see people after, when I do meet and greets after all my shows and I sell merchandise... It's never a handshake and how you doing. It's always a hug. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that's kind of like that's the that that's, is cool. Yeah, that's yeah. here's here's my wife calling. Watch this. She's on. Oh, she's on. Right. Julie, she, oh this. Hey, girl. Hey, 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 Julie. <laughs> hey, girl. hey, Julie. Yes. And Julie and Good luck in volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing press, and I was just talking about you. That's literally. Crazy. 
<laughs> so, and I was telling everybody how much everybody loves Julie. So, and now you guys are on on video. Hello, Ashlyn. Yeah, she must have. They must have heard it. See, wives are yes. listening at all yeah, times. Exactly. So, I, I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Love oh, you come too, on, man. That's, okay, that's good. Bye. I mean, make me cry. Uh, 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 Holy I, I, shit! You'll make me cry. That is I, sweet. Man. I hope this no, is all set up in every interview. Right, He's like, right. my, 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 this guy, no, family, my wife's family. Is like, man, <laughs> cue the social media call from wife. Cue the FaceTime. Let's get a two shot on the girls. Let's get a volleyball in the picture. Okay, let's do the kiss. Happy Valentine's Day and cut. Oh, wow. like, there's a whole production God. crew. Like, yeah. there's a fake call. Like, what the fuck is the green screen? <laughs> that's like literally that's my life. You, you were like, let me tell you about Julie. It's <laughs> unbelievable, She's right? FaceTime. Like, cue the car. I was like, what the uh, fake car that's driving? What happens with he, uh, like, me and him. I'm like, hey man, you want to go down the block and, and like, you want to go down the block and get a pitcher of beer? <laughs> hey baby, how you doing? Yeah, it's like they know. But, they but, know. But David, isn't it better? Because you know we experience uh, similar great. to that. Because on our show, we primarily only talk about our own lives. And, and our stuff. wives have a show. They do it from here. It's called Two Wife Crew. Really? And they yeah. do. They do a show in here, and we don't run the board. We, they do everything themselves. That's fantastic. So yeah, it's when, cool. When you know, we meet our listeners out and stuff. They know us. They know all about our lives. Yes. And I like that. Like some people are standoffish and like right, right. I'm gonna I keep like my it. personal life. Private, but I find it better when your audience or the people you're talking to know all about you. It makes it easier to talk, and it seems yeah. a lot like there's no barrier. It's just like, oh, okay, we already know each other, and like, yeah, thank you for supporting. Yeah, I like. Do you like that better now that every like, um, the people know you personally? You know what it is. I think because I'm, I've started doing stand up. The whole plight of a comedian is to be known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want people yeah. to. The only thing you want as an artist, I think, is you want people to want to come see you when they know you're coming to town. So for me, that's always been my goal as a stand up, as a performer, for people to know hey, that's David. He's coming. He's funny. We're going to see him. Now with the social media, it that has happened. When people see me and they say, it does feel like they know me, it does not bother me at all because. It, we're, we're very careful about what we post and what we let you in on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, there's people sure. that will always be like, oh, you guys are too much with your family. Those girls be doing... Like, my girls know how to turn it on when the cameras are on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. They're, they can be a little smart-assy and they, you know, because the cameras are on, yeah. so they know what they're doing. Well, like, you can see, it's almost like you guys have a natural sitcom. In the one video, like, they're, you know, they're having, he's just doing some banter with Julie, and then one of the girls peeks through over in the camera, and she has, like, a face mask on. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Anna Grace. Yeah, but it was great. It was like, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. I'm like, yeah, yeah. shit, She's... it looks like, it looks like a show. And it's not, and like, it's, it's not, not stage. Yeah. 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 It's, it's good, not. We're man. we're literally. We just had a meeting, and it's really I, good. I never talk about this stuff because nothing ever becomes of these things. Mm. But like, we literally just had a meeting with Oprah's network own because okay. they want to do a, you know talk to us about a reality show, and we're having conversations about it. And you know, we're meeting with a bunch of actually different networks sure. about it. And if it if it's right, sure. You know what I mean? If it's not, if I can't, I need my family to be portrayed in a positive way. Yeah. I've worked very hard for yeah, them to yeah, be yeah, yeah. that. So I don't, especially the images of, for me for a black family, I want us to not, we not all ratchet. It's not all, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, of course. So like you just, you really, I, I really, and my daughters, I want them to see that, you know, this is, this is a normal, what a normal life is. Yeah, so yeah. like I, I just started posting the videos. Because it was an, with no agenda. There's mm. never been... The only agenda that I've ever had of getting on social media is for when I come to your town, like I am here now in Orlando yes, sir. at the Improv, two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Mm. And um, it's for you to want to come see me perform. Yep. yeah, That's yeah. it. And all the other extra stuff that comes with it is has been great. And it's fine. And I'm sure some bullshit is coming, too. And mm. it, it always does. Yeah, oh, it does. Yeah, 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 but it does. I've been doing this for so long. I mean... It, it, it really is impressive the way you figured it out. And, you know, um, I, and I wanted to ask you this because sure. I, I have a theory. And since you've been doing this for so long, I'm interested to see what you think about it. But um, and it struck me when I watched Dave Chappelle get the uh, Mark Twain Award, which one of my and, friends wrote for. Oh, two of my it? friends, they wrote they wrote that for him. Great show, yes. by the way. Uh, yes. 
yeah. Re- yeah. really well produced yes. by PBS. They were one of the producers. Yeah, and That's um, amazing. So, and everybody was calling him the goat. And, yes, uh, and and I agree. And I also th- started to think, like, man, he is. And I, I feel like we're in a stand-up comedy renaissance. Yes. And the fact that you can now just be a stand-up and and really uh, make your entire business just being a stand-up, yes. it, as opposed to back in the day, it seemed like stand-up comedy was like a springboard towards movies or sitcoms and like right. a springboard to get you into networks and, and and for the network to grab you and now they'll make you a, a hundred millionaire but it's, right. it, it wasn't really the stand up was just a platform to get to you to get bigger there. things yeah. and now it seems like you could just be a stand up and be ultra successful and, and get your specials oh, yeah. out through a variety of different avenues yeah. because oh, yeah. there's so Sell many them independently yeah, yeah, yes. and, and then it not necessarily it doesn't have to be a spring board to other things, it can just be your thing that you could do other things, but you could primarily just make your living doing stand up if, yeah. if you wish to do that. That right? is, you know, it's 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 so true because, like, also in the Dave is Dave is definitely the, the greatest person to be doing it right now in this in this period that we're in, and you know, but he did get his, you know, he got his his notoriety from the Chappelle Show, yes, which yes, like yes. just sprung him into a different thing. But like, there are comedians who don't have television shows that are killed. Like my friend Joe Coy, me and him talk all the time. Yeah. Like Joe is like doing stadiums now, yeah, yeah and yeah, it's huge, all yeah. yes, and it's all off of you know these stand up specials that he did. And like literally, that's his thing. And the popularity of his podcast, he learned yes. how to market himself. Yeah. And like, and he are right. He's doing giant stadiums exactly. And, like, and he can do the and, and like and f- people don't realize what money you make if you reach even the level of oh doing theaters and stadiums and stuff. Like now, you're multi multi million dollars. It's, um, it's, yeah. it's um, I was Kevin Hart was performing somewhere. I don't remember where we were. It had to be local because I was there. And. uh he had, they, you know, he had a check. He, you know, just insinuated to the amount of money he made oh. that night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to like make that kind of money in a hour. Basically, because uh, it's an hour set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you don't believe that. Like when I go to his office now, and he has he owns the entire twelfth floor of his building. You know, you go. This Ooh. is all from jokes, <laughs> and like, and like I, my mind is that guy that breaks it down and goes. This started with one sixty second joke about where are all my spoons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, literally, yeah. that's yeah. how I I have to break it down like that. So yeah. for me, I'm li- I the possibilities are. In and all of those things, like those are the things that I know that I will do because I'm, I like that's what I want to do, and like I'm seeing everybody else, and I see this and this kind, like you guys in here. This is this is fucking dope. Thank you. That you guys, like I was soon as I walked in, I immediately felt the energy of hustle, focus, determination, and like yeah, yeah. everybody doesn't have that. It that, does. It 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 you. you what, what you guys are doing in here is so dope. It is so. It's to be recognized, and it's going to be bigger even than what you even, it, what you even thought that you're doing already. Like I'm so. Blo- it inspired me when I walked in, here. and this is oh, my man, third. Man. This is my third stop today. Right on. And like literally, I went, wow, this one. Is the one that like moves me because I can see these you guys talk to me because you're doing it yourself, you're making it yourself, and I can see it in your eye. Thank and you, that's what's it. dope yeah, about yeah. that. It's fantastic in yeah, here. I appreciate it. Thank that, you. Man. Um now uh I hope you're right. <laughs> yeah, me too. That was, like, a, that, mean, was a, I mean, that was a that was a very was, dramatic yeah, speech yeah, for you to fuck it up. Well, yeah, that was heartwarming, but I'm like, <laughs> well, fuck, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Dave, Dave, I, you know, I don't think we you, have what it takes. I, I I read somewhere too, David. You, you've done <laughs> some like right. like motivational speaking and some like uh, you've done like big like mega churches and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. And oh, I'm sure wow. you've probably done a lot of like. Have you done corporate stuff? Oh or, yeah, I, early uh, on I did. I don't do much of it. Yeah, that's hard. But you got a very positive vibe and a very. And, and like and and a if business Mike mind. My kids heard you say that right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean, he's so negative. I, how do you? Well, like, it's funny. You, you know, you bring up a funny and point. You because, got girls, and I know what that's exactly. like. My God, the, uh, you, a lot of the contrarian and, in my house is everything I say is like, why are you saying that? Well, 
right, exactly. Because oh, here's yeah. the thing: there's nothing really funny oh, no. about positivity and stuff. And like, no. right, <laughs> complaining and negativity is funnier no, than yes. positivity. Nobody ever wrote a joke about walking up the stairs. Yes, yes. <laughs> Just falling down. Exactly. The stairs. So that's true. So the comedy comes from negativity a lot because it's funnier. But you also have a positive message and yeah. inspirational message, yeah. um, which uh, there's uh, uh, that it's cool that you spread that around too. And uh, Dude, you know. because I this and this is real. And I think I tell people this when I teach when I when I when I talk about stand up and I and I because I love the craft and I love what I do so much and like I always tell people this it's not am I doing everything that I want to do no I when I when I started this I wanted my name on billboards and then like, I want to be at the arena yeah, 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 that's where yeah, I yeah. want to be you know what I'm saying but what I realize it's not just about being there it's about the journey and the longer you've been doing this the more I realize that every time I get to come and do this I get I I moved to Los Angeles with two trash bags of clothes and two addresses to the Laugh Factory and to the Comedy Store. I didn't know one person. I didn't have one friend. I didn't have one person to go, hey, come over here. Let me introduce. Yeah. I didn't know shit. Yeah, the yeah. only thing I knew is I wanted to be a comedian. And I had about 15 minutes of stand-up that I had acquired around the country for the last two years. And I knew I wanted to go to the Comedy Store. And I walked up and I said, I want to be a regular. I want my name at the Comedy Store. All the comedians' names are written on the wall. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. I said, I want to be a comedian. And I want to know what I got to do to get my name on the wall. And they were like, you got to admit show. Showcase for Mitzi Shore, who was the owner at the time, you know, and I went there. I had to I caught the bus. I stood in line. I waited outside for hours, three minutes. Sometimes you get picked. Sometimes you didn't. Then Paulie Shore saw me and was like, I'm going to have you showcase for my mom. And I showcased for Paulie Shore, Paulie Shore's mom, Mitzi. And I showcased one time and I got put into the main room at the comedy store, which I did not know. That that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. You, you, yeah. you didn't know about the whole I didn't know process. anything. Because yeah, 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 I didn't yeah. know nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were, Mitzi was like, well, I'm going to put you in the main room. <laughs> and I just went to the main room and everybody was talking about it. And I had no idea. It was unheard of, right? The last yeah. person to do know. it that fast was like Eddie Griffin. Right? Eddie Griffin, yeah, 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 10 yeah. years before me, was yeah. the last person that she took from Showcase straight to the main room. Because normally you have to go to the belly room, which is a small room. Sure. Then you have to you go to the, way, yeah. to the main room. Then you have to, I mean, to the original. Then you, right. I didn't I didn't know any of that. Yeah. I was I, I was brand new. I just and when all the people would every time I did a spot and I would go on stage, everybody would come into the showroom to watch. I thought they were being supportive. <laughs> right? And yeah. Little did I know they, they were, were going, Who the fuck bomb. is this? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly yes. what they were waiting that, for. Let me see this guy fail. But I did uh, not know that but until eight years later. Your ignorance probably helped you in the yeah. fact that oh, because yeah. if you had all that in your mind, you. you're like you yeah. you wanted to I would have overthought it. Like even Mincy, I didn't know who she was. Yeah, 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 I just knew she was Mitzi. She's the old lady who let you get in the club. Yeah, That's yeah. all I knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you didn't know about the legend. I didn't yeah. know any of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I walked into it very ignorant. So like now, twenty years later, my name is everywhere. I can go into any of these clubs and walk in and get on stage. You know what I'm saying? Anything short of a celebrity, that's the only thing that's going to keep me from walking in and saying, "Hey, man, throw me on." I make a great living making people laugh. My daughters are taken care of. College is paid for. My wife is like, and it's because of jokes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm learning this new thing with this social media. It's added another level of, you know, dude, it's like, I can't. You want to know how you know? I can't be bad. You want to know how you know? I'm watching one of his videos. You want to know how you know? I know. (laughs) The backsplash on his kitchen. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! It's yeah. got a good backsplash. Bad Man, you got a good backsplash. Uh, I saw your you backsplash know. this morning. I go, God damn. Uh, uh, <laughs> These got some jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking good ass. Like, that, I got a backsplash. Those backslash. jokes bought that backsplash. I'm in the middle of picking one. Are you? I can't afford your backsplash. Dude. Dude. He's yeah. got that backsplash. <laughs> He's got that I got that backsplash backsplash. <laughs> and it's high. It's a high backsplash. All backslash. the way to this. Yeah, yeah. You have been Dude, splashing shit on the scene. That is so funny to me. If you go back and watch, because I, if you go back, you'll see the entire renovation oh, all right I'll oh because i literally we, i put everything up we went through it with the with you looking at and all of it started it's, because oh, of, the re- of my refrigerator i bought a new refrigerator <laughs> oh, then, <laughs> and it just in 116,000 layers. layer <laughs> <laughs> this is, the, this uh, is the backsplash yeah, yeah. you're doing some renovations uh, so how's that going oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. everything's another uh, $5,000. Yes! <laughs> it's like, oh, that, oh, 
Oh, we found another five thousand yeah. dollars. Oh, God damn it! Get out! <laughs> Wait, is, that, is that what they're saying? They're like, we, fa- we found another five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you had a pants behind the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might want to go investigate what they're actually doing. In there. Oh my God! Yeah, I, we documented all of it, That's and awesome. like, and just, and you know, and I, and I tell my wife all the time, you know, because my wife is quick to go, everything's not a joke, David. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, uh, all the shit in this house says it is. I don't know what <laughs> you're talking about. <laughs> oh, the comebacks he has for your man, I don't know how you don't get knocked out. Like his comments are so. I mean, he's cacao, cacao, Fast. cacao. <laughs> Do you think uh, with the uh, the whole Jack in the Box contract and yeah. sponsorship, that's yeah, yeah. going to lead to other things? Oh, Do you yeah. think yes. there would be a time where you're going to have multiple like yes. big corporate sponsors yes. on your social 100%. media? One hundred percent. And making uh, like probably what a, a local uh, radio show host makes in a year just off your social media. One hundred percent. That's then, my goal. And yeah. because and at, he's going to invent a new thing called a front splash. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even knows what it is yet. Yeah, yeah. That's the David yes. A. Front yeah. Splash. Yeah, yeah. Be it? Because it seems it's like coming. that's yeah, like that's where it's going, and then all yeah. these big corporations are going to be like, "Oh, I want uh, David to do my commercial." They and then will. You're one, gonna, you be you be your own media outlet, dude. One, I get we I do get a lot of people that send me stuff that ask me to you know talk about this and talk about and it, and I think it also helps because it's the family element. It's not. It, I think people like that. You know what I mean? Like, so, th- th- because that's what my page is. And then when people come see me do stand up, they, oh, they go, ooh, this is a little, like, it's not raunchy, but it's grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's, but. I get so many people that ask for stuff. I have a brand manager now, and he handles all of that stuff. He's like, we're not going to do that. We're, we'll do this. We're not going to do that. So yeah, yeah. so it's happening. But, dude, 100, like, I awesome. I want the biggest of every single thing that I can have. Mm-hmm. If it's out there for the taking, I have no. And, and what's mine is mine. And so all I do is just keep doing the work. Yep. And I keep doing the work. And the shit that's coming to me will come to me. Yeah, 100%, man. It's been a pleasure this to is talk fantastic. to you, man. I, uh, you're, you're really, you're an inspiration to us. Yeah, because yeah. I, uh, I, I'm so excited I about this place. I love to meet new yeah. comedians that aren't new comedians right. that have done it and can teach me things. Because, oh, my God. Like, I, like, seriously, we get jazz when we meet somebody like you that's doing it, and it is. It's a shot in the arm for us yeah. to actually get to just kind of rub elbows and right, get, right. Some, get some good energy yeah. out of it, you know? Yeah. like And even someone of your stature even appreciating what we do, yeah. we yes. appreciate that. Really, Thank you. I get right a little, on. I get weirded out. I start looking down. Because you've been... You know, like, people are like, this is a great spot. I start looking yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no. You've, you've done all the media yeah. and all the war the United the states yeah, yeah. So, yes. so for you to give us a compliment we really appreciate yeah dude it. I'm, I'm i respect it it's slide dope. into the dms because slide into the dm and do yeah. it like guys do it like you do linnell we'll put this up on youtube the replay we always do that yeah. two shows tonight two shows tomorrow yes. uh the improv orlando.com and uh, david a arnold.com david you can a. get arnold. me on instagram com. at the david a arnold or david a arnold comedian on facebook and uh all across the board guys there you go come yeah. say hello yeah uh, take uh your wife or husband out to yes. uh, valentine's day uh, uh, it you know, is show tonight. It's a great show. It's yeah. gonna be a lot of fun. And guys, we'll see you on the Friday free show. Bye. See ya.